Hey guys, King Adu here bringing you some new news. I got an update for you on the Coinbase situation. Um, if you missed the last video, essentially Coinbase is having trouble with wire transfers. People have been waiting a very long time and uh, sounds like we might have some good news. So I, I dug into the forums and I went through 51 pages of people complaining. And here we go, Phil C says, good news, for my coins finally hit five minutes ago. Um, best of luck to everyone else. Uh, his transaction took eight business days start to finish and uh, essentially 12 full calendar days. And that's not a good experience uh, for anybody. Even if you've been around the cryptocurrency uh, world for a while, that's not good. So I just wanted to bring you an update. Hopefully that gives some people some hope who are stuck in that limbo mode right now waiting on their transactions. Um, I hope I hope that's good news for you. But what I wanted to do in this video too is I just want to take a quick look at Gollum. Gollum is one of my favorite concepts out there on the Ethereum blockchain. If you haven't researched Gollum, go do it. Uh, go check out Gollum Network um, and learn about how they can utilize the smart contracts that Ethereum offers to build a world supercomputer. Uh, it's really really cool concept. It's uh, it's you know, it's a dream right now, right? It really, really is. But we once were dreaming in the early 90s about a lot of the things that the internet does today. Um, and now it's reality. So I think it's really cool. Go check out uh, Golem. But let's go do, let's take a quick look at a quick technical analysis. And I'm going to be showing you what I believe is going on here. And it's only a guess. But this is t a good technical analysis. And maybe you'll learn how to do one. But um, let me just walk you through this here. So we're going to go back to a recent high here because I only want to look at the short term uh, right now because I'm looking for buying opportunities. I like picking up Gollum on the cheap. And uh, it's been low as of late, so I will get a little bit. But you can see here that we're not quite touching all those lines there. So this isn't a very strong triangle. We only have two points touching down here. We do this again in the short term. And again, we only have two points touching it's not the strongest triangle, so it's really hard to say if it's really, really uh, relevant or not. But we are consolidating as we lead in to the end of the triangle here. And you know, when that happens, that's when you have a break up or down. Now, what I'm looking for is uh, where would it break up to and where is it going to break down to? In the short term, we had some consolidation right here. And then a little while ago, we had consolidation here. We had really strong consolidation here. And then we had, you can see that, right, guys? You can kind of see how the, it's all getting bunched up and it's kind of flat for a while. So these are the different levels. Uh, these are the new resistance uh, uh, that we have to break through. We got to break through. If we want to if we want to go up again, we got to keep breaking. And that's just something to keep keep an eye on is those uh, consolidation lines when you're doing this type of analysis. Now, if it were to break down from here, it's kind of scary. Um, you know, this is the this is the most recent low. We could we could come down here and test this again. That would not be fun. We could also test the short term one we had earlier today. That would not be fun. Um, however, if we go up. We could go up to, you know, we just here from last night, but we could also go all the way up here and uh, make some good money, actually. Or we could actually go back here. Now, the thing I want to point out, though, guys, if we clear all this out, this is actually critical and really important, is that remember when Polonex crashed? Yeah, that's what made all of this happen. So my question that I'm asking myself is, and you can make your own determination is, is this really uh, the market, traditional buy, sell, demand, or is this fear? I like buying on fear, um, personally, but I'm asking myself, what is this right here? Is this relevant? Because before all of that happened, um, we had this consolidation here, right? We had this consolidation, and then we broke down slightly to this. So I'm wondering, are we really supposed to be up here? Is that where we're headed? Or is that where we belong? Um, I don't know. I don't have the answer to that. All I know is, is that I'm always looking for a good value. Um, if it drops down, you could be looking to buy because it's, it's going to be one of the lowest prices it's been in a long, long time. Um, however, if it pops up, 
um, it could go as high as back to where it was. Um, and I don't have a crystal ball. No one does. But, you know, one opportunity, one thing I can um, suggest as a strategy is you can purchase on this consolidation right now that's happening. Set, set a stop loss, right? What am I willing to risk here? Just determine that exact number um, and set your stop losses. And uh, if the market goes up, sweet. Uh, if it goes down, well, hey, you're out. Uh, you lost what you were comfortable losing. Um, and maybe you can buy uh, lower and get a better deal. Um, so anyhow, just a quick technical analysis, a way of thinking, a way of strategizing. Um, if you aren't familiar with how to do these kind of things, um, I wasn't either that long ago. Um, but I invested the time. I learned, I learned about candles. I learned about different type of um, signals and indicators. I learned what a cup, a cup and handle was. I learned about heads and, heads and shoulders and things that you hear on Bloomberg all the time. And you're like, what are they talking about? Well, that stuff actually is pretty real. It actually matters. Um, it doesn't mean you can predict what's going to happen. It does not. Um, but it does a pretty good job of giving you um, an idea of what the market's thinking about what the market believes the price may be in certain ranges um, helps you understand what's actually going on out there uh, a whole lot better so at least you can make a better informed decision um, as with all investments there's a risk especially in cryptocurrencies so be safe out there guys um, and uh, that's it so i'm king adu may the force be with you have a good night